I've been giving flight to dreams and overcoming obstacles and helping others do the same for more than 49 years. I trust that what I'm about to share with you will help you reframe and overcome the obstacles that have been showing up in your life. Maybe I can even get you excited about obstacles. Inherently, we all want to be successful. I know that you're excited about life vantage and, and what you want your life to be. We've heard from several amazing individuals today who overcame great personal challenges and obstacles and went on to become very successful in life vantage. You see, we all have obstacles to overcome, and if you haven't yet, you're going to get some. I promise you. It's how you react to them that will affect what happens in your life. This is where most everyone stumbles on their journey. We stumble not because our goals are unreachable, but rather because of unexpected obstacles and not knowing how to react. The average person faces obstacles with trepidation. The exceptional person views obstacles as an opportunity to learn and grow. And the first and most vital step to overcoming obstacles takes place in your mind. It is how you perceive them and again how you react to them. If you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. I learned early that everything in life is, an, is a dichotomy. There's a flip side to everything. In a beautiful garden with, filled with flowers, there's also weeds. Who planted the weeds? How did they get there? Same with success. You cannot have success without failure. Failure is an unavoidable and inevitable part of life. Whenever you are doing something new or stepping us outside your comfort zone, you are risking failure. When you fail, it doesn't mean that all is lost. It simply means that things are temporarily not working in your favor. Therefore, in this context, failure is nothing more but an impermanent experience that expires the moment you decide to let go of the past and move forward into the future. Whatever your dream is, whatever your goals are, there are obstacles. The larger the goal, the greater the obstacles separating you from the goal. They are equivalent in their size. Small goals, small obstacles. Big goals, big obstacles. Change the world size goals, huge obstacles. Did that stop Roger Bannister breaking the four minute mile or man's successful trip to the moon? You know, like in sports, there are hurdles. It's safe to say that every goal we set comes with an array of hurdles. These hurdles manifest as obstacles and problems that we must overcome to achieve our end goal. In network marketing, there are inherent obstacles. However, building a successful life vantage business is well worth the effort getting past the obstacles. Ask any elite distributor or Master Pro 10 if it's worth it. Being an entrepreneur requires personal growth. In order to succeed, you have to put yourself out there at risk every day. You'll face criticism, fear, rejection, self-doubt, financial pressure, disappointment, and other frustrations on your journey, forcing you to grow personally and professionally. And the biggest obstacle you'll face every day is yourself. Success is an inside job. You are unlikely to overcome any obstacle if you don't first believe that you're capable of overcoming it. Your self-doubt in that critical inner voice will only paralyze you. It will keep you focused on the obstacle and not on the solution and you need to get uh, and the outcomes that you want. You must develop the necessary self-confidence and the belief needed to help you think more clearly and effectively about the obstacle and challenges in your life. This is why I spent my early years in network marketing working harder on myself than I did my business. Success is what you attract by the person you become. Here's a list of personal obstacles that could be preventing you from moving forward in your life. Do you recognize any that are currently preventing you from success in life vantage? There's, these are just a few, whether it be no people skills, feeling unworthy, the opinions of others, procrastination, employee mentality. Uh, choose today to take control of your thoughts Force, face your fears and begin taking positive actions that will help you build the momentum necessary to get you to your end destination. I believe that sir, overcoming obstacles in network marketing boils down to three things that are critical for success. Why, your why, your passion to succeed, and your mindset. Let's start with your why. Why are you here trying to make a go of life vantage? Is it because you want to get out of debt? Do you want to own nice things? Maybe it's 
you, you know you don't you don't want to go to a job you hate every day or maybe it's more time with your family keep your eyes on your why lack of focus is a major stumbling block to success write out your purpose statement your why and then write down your short-term and long and long-term goals and review them daily if you have a strong compelling why then this will help you overcome obstacles in life vantage having the passion to succeed living life on your own terms to do what you would like to do when you would like to do it with whomever you would like should be a strong enough reason overcoming obstacles in life vantage you know anytime I was up an obstacle and um, I would just take myself out of the picture and go dream shopping to reinforce why I'm doing what I was doing whether it be shopping for a new car going through open houses uh, trying on new clothes etc you see your mind is the most powerful thing on earth a human mind can achieve any result it focuses on no matter how large or small the human mind is responsible for everything we see and touch every day Napoleon Hill said that anything the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve overcoming obstacles and life vantage begins with taking control of your mind and don't let your mind take control of you you own your thoughts not your mind and where there is faith there is no fear fear only exists in the absence of faith you know the most exciting thing about network marketing is that we are in the people business the worst thing about network marketing is that we are in the people business therefore it's important to develop your people skills and create strong bonds and relationships with the people who are your potential team leaders in your group become the leader set the example your team wants to follow someone who knows the way and is showing the way you need to overcome your obstacles in order to show others how to do the same here are several of the biggest obstacles that many distributors struggle with while building their team first of all nobody likes to be sold people like to buy now whether you consider yourself a salesperson or not it doesn't really matter what matters most is that you learn to communicate effectively building a life advantage business isn't about making a sale or convincing your friend or anything like that it's about finding open-minded people that are sick and tired of their rat race of mediocre lives and showing them a way to a different lifestyle in order to get someone to potentially consider what you're offering you first have to get them to open up their mind questions are the key rather than telling someone all the facts and reasons which is selling for why you have is so great what you have is so great it's much better to ask questions ask them if they've ever thought about becoming an entrepreneur if they've tried in the past or if they want to make a better living when you ask questions you can collaborate build rapport and build trust then when the time comes you can lead them to the life vantage opportunity that might be a fit for them now it may not but only after you ask some questions then you can ask the best question in all of network marketing if I would you if I could show you how to solve that problem would you take a look no 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 get comfortable with this two-letter word understand many more people will say no than say yes you must conquer your fear of no and the fear of rejection keep in mind that we have no control over the results we can only control our actions we're far more professional and effective when we don't have an emotional attachment to the outcome I've said for years be married to the process divorce from the outcome remember each no can lead you to a referral and potentially a yes down the road no doesn't mean no never it just means no not now one of the quickest ways that new distributors get discouraged and quit is talking to their friends and family right when they join life vantage you're excited I get that but not learning the correct way to first expose friends and family will lead to rejection get together with your sponsor and see if they can do a three-way call with you use the ABC report as a conversation starter and the more people you speak with the more likely you will encounter naysayers and those with psychic damage about network marketing I heard this wonderful quote it said those that cannot hear the music think that the dancers have gone crazy you won't recruit everyone get over it this is not for everyone that is not a bad thing we need workers to service the needs of the dreamers avoid all negativity and negative people starting with yourself negative people will drain your energy hinder your pro
progress and negative thoughts will slow you down and discourage you. If things are hard work, work harder. If, things, if you fail, learn from your mistakes. If you don't use it, you know, time constraints. If you don't use it wisely, it'll become your enemy. We all have 168 hours a week, 24 hours a day, and lack of time is actually a lack of priorities. You cannot manage time, you can only manage priorities. Are your life's goals a high priority in your daily activities? Avoid all time wasters and activities that don't directly propel you closer to your life vantage goals every day. As an entrepreneur, your work doesn't revolve around nine to five. You can easily fit your life vantage into the nooks and crannies of your daily life. Always be prepared to prospect anytime, anywhere. We need to meet new people every day. For example, I don't go out to prospect, I prospect when I go out. The 80-20 rule is alive and well in network marketing. Understand the numbers and keep recruiting anyways. Network marketing works well with just a few leaders on your team. Life Vantage has systems that can help you achieve greatly. In a world of instant gratification, it's hard for people to see the long-term vision of this business and its potential rewards, especially with those with employee mentality. It might take you 30 to 60 distributors to find one or two leaders in your organization. It doesn't matter if 40 quit as long as you have one or two build the business. Network marketing is counterintuitive mostly, meaning that what you think, what you think is failure is actually the road to success. Keep on recruiting. Now, losing important team members. This could be devastating, especially if you've invested a lot of time with them and have high hopes for their success. People regularly walk away from opportunities thinking the grass is greener somewhere else. Understand the grass is always greener where you water it. Several of the legends in network marketing have lost leaders on their team. In fact, their entire teams found others and went on to earn tens of millions of dollars with their companies. Obstacles are put in your way to see if you want what you want is really worth fighting for. I always saw obstacles as a test of my commitment to see if I was worthy of the dream that I was chasing. I also believe that if the barriers um, are that difficult or that large, then the prize would be even greater than anticipi and originally anticipated. They'd be of equivalent size. I even got more excited and worked harder for its achievement. Obstacles do not block the path. They are the path. Marcus Aurelius quoted, What stands in the way becomes the way. The way to personal growth, fulfilling your potential, expanding your business, discovering success. Your perception of obstacles makes a huge difference. Some people see obstacles as the world being against them or as signs of failure. These same people are likely to be overwhelmed with painful thoughts and difficult emotions when faced with blocks to their goals. They relive the pain of fast failure, uh, past failures and quit rather than breaking through the obstacle and setting themselves up for ongoing success. Either your thoughts or your emotions or both can lead you to stop working on your goals. You lose your passion. Perhaps you become resigned and no longer think about your goals or what's important to you. Your reactions to obstacles stop you from trying. Now, no matter what, do not quit because the greatest opportunities are always intertwined with life's greatest struggles. Persistence and perseverance and a commitment to consistency and massive action to achieve your dreams is what you need to help you overcome life's greatest obstacles. When you feel like quitting, think about why you started. Develop a never give up attitude. There's always a way around or over an obstacle. Be determined to keep going and get past the obstacles. Stay plugged into Life Vantage and you will find your answers. We are your Life Vantage family and we're here to help you every step of your journey. Don't quit. Find your passion. Continue to pursue your dreams and you will own your life. In closing, Obstacles are just things that are there to teach and strengthen us for the journey that lies ahead. We must therefore not view them as insurmountable problems that will prevent us from achieving our goals, but rather as small and at times large stepping stones that are required modules we need to pass in order to get a PhD in goal achievement and success in your life vantage business. Welcome your obstacles and thank you very much.